Hello ladies and gentlemen, just got a quick video for you today with a style of a variable signal input counter. So let's get to it. First, just a real quick overview of what this is. So this counts the number of input signals coming in and then gives an output signal every X number of inputs. In this setup, we have four. This can be any item that you want. And each time it takes an input signal, it's gonna send one over to the other side. And then here on the fourth one, it's gonna give us a signal down there in the bottom. Once again, one, two, three, four, signal down in the bottom. Because we're using droppers to go back and forth, once it's done counting, it's automatically instantly reset. Observing the redstone block over here, you're going to be able to do that every one to 576 signal inputs that go into this observer or having your observer over here on this piston, that's gonna be every two to 1,152 signal inputs to that same observer. So let's say you had yourself a machine where you were pushing in blocks and every four times that that went off, you wanted to get yourself a piece of pork chop. You can see from that time lapse, it's instantly reset. The way that's working is very similar to how a etho hopper clock works. This redstone plot gets pushed back and forth. And so when it's underneath this dropper, that dropper is actually then locked. So it can't spit an item back over to this dropper, but this dropper can spit an item over here. Because we have an observer pointing right into these, these both get powered when this observer goes off, but because this one is still triggered, this one doesn't actually fire off. So just this one does. This could also be paired really nicely if you want a very long delay in between signals. Uh, by example here, I've put an etho hopper clock actually on top of it, and you can see now where those similarities actually lie. Here we have the etho hopper clock filled to the brim with all the items, so it's a timing of 256 seconds. And then we add in a full inventory to the dropper over here. And then you have a delay that's going to put a signal out to this block every 4,915 minutes or 81 hours. So a nice long clock you can make out of that. It is only one block wide, but unfortunately because of the redstone dust here, not exactly tileable, you could replace this block right here with the target block and then make it slightly tileable. But once you start getting into the um, larger counts where this is gonna go beyond signal strength one, then you're gonna have an issue with it tiling because then it's going to start affecting things next to it because of that signal strength. If someone's got an update that does make it tileable, put a message down in the comments. We'd love to hear about it. Otherwise, link to the schematic for this is going to be down in the video description. Um, there's not going to be a world download for this. Uh, you can see it right behind you there. It is only one wide, so you can see everything in the machine as is. So until next time, have a good one. Bye.